Kay Charles here. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower stew. I don't know if you've had it or not, but I just thought of a, a way to s serve cauliflower. Once in a while, go through your refrigerator and see what you've got in there. And say, okay, what can I create with what I've got in there? I've never made this before. This is the first time I'm making it, but I'm sure it's gonna turn out good. So, I already put some oil in the pan. What we're gonna use, I'm gonna use red onion. Just slice it. Don't dice it, slice it. And with some carrot. Salt. And I'm gonna fry this. Now I wanna fry my cauliflower. What I did is, I'm not gonna mix the cauliflower with the rest of the ingredients at the beginning because uh, I don't want the cauliflower to fall apart. So I'm gonna put the cauliflower in a pan and put some oil on it and fry it a little bit. Why do I fry the cauliflower a bit? Because when you fry it, it firms up and it won't fall apart as, uh, as it otherwise would. So, and I'm gonna check on this. We're gonna use some orange some lemon. Now I'm going to add my mint and, par and parsley. I have half a cup of diced mint and half a cup of diced parsley. So I'm going to add to this. And you see the cauliflower. I just wanted to brown it a little bit. some pepper, I've already added salt. With this particular stew, I don't want everything to be so, uh, I want everything to be bigger size. I don't want everything to be chopped. So I want you to, I want to be able to see what I'm eating. So I'm going to add half of the lime. That's one spoon of honey. I'm gonna serve this sweet and sour or tosho shirin. So the ingredients, we had red onion, carrots, 
parsley and mint Now I'm going to add the juice of half of orange. tablespoon of saffron Let me turn this off this down to low so I'm going to mix everything together I'll have about half a cup of yogurt. So what we had was half a cup of diced parsley, half a cup of diced mint. We had about half a cup of Julian uh, carrots, half a red onion, and uh, about half a or a small cauliflower. And now I'm going to add some cream to this. One fourth of a cup of cream will do. So now, because I want the cauliflower to get a color, I'm going to get a small spoon. This is my magic spoon and add some saffron to it. I'll turn this down low. Cover it. So add it's some orange peel. Some zest of orange. Make sure this is very small. Chop it real good. With most of my recipe, you need to watch the recipe first and then see if you like it. Then write down the ingredients that I use and then go shopping. And then buy what you need to put together 
can create your own version of what we have. I'm gonna serve this with rice. I've already cooked my rice and I've shown you in different uh, part of the, my site. On the rice DVD, if you don't have it, you can go on my site and get a rice DVD or you can watch any of the polos or rices, rice dishes that I've made. Because what I do is, when I am showing a new dish, I won't go through and show you every uh, things that I have made from scratch. For instance, like this one, I only show you the stew and I serve it with rice. Go and check the rice videos and, learn, uh, and you know, cook it from there because if I want to go through and show you everything that I make that's this is going to be a, our video so enjoy I'll come back and show you the presentation okay now we've got the rice This is a vegetarian dish. If you want, you can add meat to it. It could be chicken, beef, whatever you like. Wow. Okay, we're done. I hope you enjoy it. This is a dish that serves two people. You can have meat, as I said. If you have meat, you could put the meat between the cauliflowers. It could be chicken, beef, whatever. Enjoy the beauty. Enjoy the dish. Treat yourself and go out and make it a beautiful day. And I love having you in my kitchen. Thank you, my friends.